Okay, so this is an Infinity War showcase. I've been working on these characters for about a month, and I think they came out pretty well. So the first figure I'm going to be going over, oh, and I forgot to say this, but I'm going to go through each one of them. I have like nine, I think. Yeah, about nine. And I'm going to show the first one off. It's a Black Panther. So, so I just took a regular Black Panther from the set, and I just added silver detail, gray detail. I had like little claws for his um, feet, I guess. And knee pads, shoulder pads, like chest pads. I did a lot of things to him. And I think it turned out pretty good. I mean, I couldn't add that much to him because it's the exact same figure for the Infinity War. So that's it for this video, for this character. And next is Iron Man. Uh, this character, at first, he was just, like, regular, just, this is how his torso originally was. It was just this, but I didn't like that, so I ended up changing it. So, I just took this from a Lego piece I had, it's, it's, it's really, like, like a chest armor I guess so I just cut I just trimmed it sanded it cut it and I just put it on top and this figure has a belt I probably should add a belt to Black Panther though so he has a belt that I put on here I put a belt on lots of them so yeah and I'll show you how to make a belt later in a different video so I have this chest plate and I just took a random head. I, I didn't make a head for Tony Stark. She took a random head. And I took a Stormtrooper helmet. And I just cut off the top part. And then just painted it and drew on it a little. And that's it for him. And the next is Thor. The um, hammer was, was pretty hard to make. And the, um, like... His arms, his face, his face was, um, it was actually messed up. The eye patch part was messed up, the print was messed up, so I just covered it with the eye patch. And this hair, I didn't really like the hair, I had nothing to do with this hair. I just couldn't figure out where to put it, so I just trimmed off the top part, because it used to be like a little curl on there, and I trimmed some back here. Just a little bit. It was like this little triangle at the bottom, but I trimmed that off. Sanded it down. And I think it looks pretty cool. And for his hammer, I just took like a regular stick and one of these pieces that I really don't know what they're called. And this was probably one of my favorite parts because, let me show you. It was really just... Um, this, except I stuck it on here, I cut off one of these, and then I just cut it so it would be smaller, and I painted it gray. And yeah, that's it for his hammer. And I think that the legs look better like this, because in like the minifigure, I think it's just all one black color, so I just used these legs that I had laying around. I would add added a belt, but when I tried to add the belt, it just didn't. It didn't work. The body kept falling off the torso. <clears throat> and I just painted some gray for his, um, for like the circles on his chest. And this video is going to be a long video, so I better hurry up and get through these figures. The next is Captain America. First, I just had a white, um, uh, star, so I just painted it over with black. And for this character, I also added a belt. But at first the belt was gray. I mean, the first the belt was brown, but it didn't really pop that much. People really wouldn't notice it. So I decided to make it silver. <clears throat> and I made like brown gloves. Added this part on the back because at the time the figures that I I looked up, they didn't show the back, just showed the front. They got boots on them. And this hair was originally just black hair, so I just painted over it. 
and I just painted like a beard on um, Captain America from the um, uh, Civil War um, head. So I just painted on a beard. The next is Spider-Man. I really do not like this figurehead. I added a belt. If I, can, I added a belt to him, and I drew on the belt a little bit. I drew on like two lines, so. And then I have the leg, the boots. I did a little on the boots. And I did the spider, which I really like the spider. The arms look fine in my part. But then the head. Just look at the eyes. The eyes are very bad. The drawing is very bad. I would redo it a whole bunch of times. The back is better than the front, but it's still not really good. And I tried to do like a little spider on the back, but it didn't really turn out that great. <clears throat> and next I have Falcon. So my favorite part was like the wings. I took Boba Fett's, like a white Boba Fett, um, a white Boba Fett's, uh, what's it called, jetpack. I took it off. I cut this part at the top and then it just glued it on here. I drew on it a little bit. And I painted the wing. The wings are from a um, the first Falcon mini figure they have made. I just had him, so yeah. And I used the Batman armored Batman suit from Batman vs Superman movie. And I just drew on it. And I made the custom gun and the head. the The hair are just from a Black Panther set, and the face is from Black Panther set too. So let me put these back on. This video is like six minutes. Okay. Now, um, I only have like three more to go. So this is Thanos. And I'll show him last because I don't want to show him right now. I want to save the best for last. So I have Bucky right here. The gun was really had a knife at the end, so I cut the knife off. almost cut myself in the process, though. And I just use a regular face. I use original Bucky hair. I've I seen a lot of people use um, Luke Skywalker hair, like, from the um, episode 8, but I don't like that. And I added a silver belt as well for him. And this time for the belt, instead of cutting everything off of it, I left this pouch at the back because I think it went well with the figure. I just took a silver, I just took a regular arm and painted it silver, put little details on there. I have, like, this version I did before. But I didn't really like it. Comment down below which one you think is better. This being the second one. This being the first. I did boots. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this figure. And now I have the Hulk. First in the um, trailer, it was just Bruce Banner. So I just decided that was no fun. So I just took a Hulk figure. Well, it was like zombie Hulk, I guess. Like It was a gray Hulk. So I just decided to paint over green, do a little things on his pants, and then just draw with black for the muscles. Did a little face print, which I think is a good face print. You can see that this usually was just a regular Hulk face. She didn't like it, so I just painted. I didn't like the green, so I just painted with this green, which I think looks better. There was little red things in his head. I don't know why, so I just painted over that in black. And now I can get to Thanos. Thanos was a difficult figure to make. The Infinity Goblet I think looked well, and except for this one stone that seems to be merging with the green one. And <clears throat> there was like this stone in the middle right here. It, I couldn't do that, so I just left it there. I tried to do that, except the uh, marker, it didn't work. So I used a Sharpie marker. I used this Sharpie marker. For the arms, did a little detail printing. Uh, did the other arms, did back on here. I did a little gold right here. And so, I looked at pictures of Thanos from the Infinity War, and it showed him with gray pants. But then, Michael MGF, I saw his figure, his new figure, and it had tan pants, so I just decided to keep it. I added gold. Um, knee pads, and for this, it was paint, so, I mean, I put tape on here, and then covered the tape in paint, and I did black boots, and that's all I have to show for this figure. 
Um, if you like the video, subscribe, and see you guys next time.